how somebody hears about an evangelistic event actually impacts how likely they are to attend. In this video, I'll share research on the attendance rates from different advertising channels and what you can do to maximize the attendance at your next evangelistic event. Hi, I'm Larry Witzel with another Ministry Insight from Sermon View. Hey, if you're listening to this as a podcast, will you please leave us a review on whatever platform you're using? And if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe so you'll know when we drop future videos. Your support means a lot to us. In a video a few weeks ago, I mentioned a paper that I wrote during my PhD studies looking at attendance rates for people who pre-register for an evangelistic event. In this video, I want to unpack that study a little more. The study looked at how many people attended the event after hearing about it from various advertising channels like social media advertising, YouTube ads, direct mail, outdoor banners, road signs, that type of thing. One thing that SermonView does in our marketing system is provide a way for people to pre-register for the event, both online and by telephone. We also have developed an interest management tool called Interest Tracker, which a lot of churches use for tracking attendance at evangelistic meetings. This study looked at a bunch of events where SermonView handled the marketing and the campaign offered pre-registration, and then the church used Interest Tracker to track the attendance at the meetings. So we can see how much was spent on an advertising channel, how, much, how many pre-registered from that channel, and how many actually attended at least one of the meetings from that channel. We can see the impact of the advertising channel then through each step of that process. So here's what we found. First, overall, about a third of people who pre-registered actually ended up attending the event. Now, that means that two thirds of pre-registrants did not attend the event. However, keep in mind that these are real people who provided real contact information because they really intended to come to the event, but then life got in the way. So don't ignore these people. You want to make sure you follow up with them. But there was a wide variance in attendance rates based on where they heard about the event. Among people who said that they heard about the event from a friend, 59% attended the event. Among those who got a brochure or postcard in the mail, 45% attended. Among those who heard about it on YouTube or from email, 29% attended. And for those who heard about it from Facebook or Instagram ads, just 7% actually attended the event. Now, on the other hand, 47% of pre-registrations came from Facebook and Instagram advertising, while only 9% came from direct mail and only 6% came from personal invitation. So when you factor in that social media advertising costs less than a tenth of direct mail, it comes close to evening out. So the cost per guest from Facebook and Instagram ads is a little less than from direct mail. And in a subsequent study, we found that while YouTube advertising generates fewer pre-registrations per dollar spent than Facebook and Instagram, these people are almost three times more likely to attend, again, almost evening things out. The cost per guest from YouTube is very similar to the cost per guest from direct mail and from Facebook and Instagram advertising. Okay, so what does all this mean? It's important to use a multi-touch approach to your event promotion, reaching people with direct mail and social media advertising and YouTube advertising. Each of these communication methods reaches slightly different audiences, so you need to use all of them to reach the most people. And when you include banners and road signs into the mix, you have a comprehensive campaign that will get you the best results for your budget. If you have an evangelistic event coming up, we'd love to help. Some of you does this every day and we'll take your marketing budget and allocate it between these four marketing channels to maximize your effectiveness. If you'd like to talk more about it, call us and one of our campaign managers can go over all the details for your event. Pastor, thank you for sharing yourself with your church and with your community. You have a very public position and sometimes it can be difficult to navigate the competing demands from your members. So stay connected to Jesus. Let him guide you through those challenges. And I'm so grateful for you and for the work that you do every day. I love you guys. I'm cheering for you. And I'll see you next time.